Straight to the top, never going down, don't wait for the drop. Never stand still, that's the motto. Yeah. Brand new bands for the auto. Oh, foot to the ground, full throttle. Big energy for the night, like lotto. Damn, y'all talk lots, never disquiet. Life like a Seinfeld plot. Mm. Ball full of songs, all of them bombs. Something like a minefield got. Boom. Get it, get it, tickets running out quick. quick. Bet it, bet it, never get it out big. Said it, said it, never had a shout it. They said I couldn't ever do it, okay, how's this? Fit a week worth of work in a minute. Machine well oiled, you know how I stay efficient. To do list written, I do this different. Yeah. Hold up, wait a minute, I ain't finished. Okay. Look, flows the same, the same, the same, the same now. Paved the way, the snakes and fakes are chased out. Back to back to back, I changed the pace now. Had to stack the cash until the bank's out. Straight to the top, never going down, don't wait for the drop. Never stand still, that's the motto. Yep, it's pretty damn big. So no, this is not my new personal monitor. However, I was using it to edit some 3D renders I have for a concert coming up. So each panel is about 1.5 feet. Uh, by 1.5 feet, they are perfect squares. 15 panels wide, seven panels tall. Each panel has 192 pixels vertically, 192 pixels horizontally. So 192 times 192 per panel times 105 panels on this wall. This thing is ridiculously big and tall, not nearly as big as the volume we took down in order to construct this guy. So we had another volume. We are moving the location of that volume, so we had to tear it down. So temporarily, we stood this wall up to handle some of our current clients and their needs. I'm gonna be doing a lot of R&D on this wall in particular while it's here at this office, and I'm gonna be doing some Mad Mapper projection mapping with it, maybe play with some lasers, uh, program different video wall sizes and getting multiple video walls to work together depth wise. Maybe do a DJ facade and link the facade with the background so they are working together. I'm gonna to be doing future videos on all things like that, but while we have the wall here, might as well use it. Maybe even continue to use it as a personal monitor when we don't have clients in the space. So let me tell you a little bit about how we built this wall. Originally we were going to do a J shape, but then we realized we don't actually need the J for some of the stuff we want, so it would be better for our needs to do a 16 by nine aspect ratio. This wall behind me is close to 16 by nine, but not quite there. All we're doing is we are sending it a 16 by nine feed, and then we are simply cropping or masking the top and bottom part of that 16 by nine image off. Maybe 100 pixels on top, 100 pixels on the bottom, maybe closer to 50 pixels and 50 pixels. For our needs, that works great because the important pieces of that image are usually in the middle, so that's what we're showing on here. This wall was completely constructed in one day, fully up and wired in the back. Then I simply did the configuration the next day on the video wall processor. It's real simple. You just open up a piece of software and network into the Novastar processor, and then you can configure this. So let's get into the wiring of how this video wall works. Basically, there is a video wall processor, it's called the Novastar, that takes a feed from the computer or switcher or whatever we wanna use, and then distributes that to the rest of the video wall. An ethernet cable or multiple ethernet cables, in this case, 15 ethernet cables run from that processor to the video wall. We run each cable to the bottom of each column of panels. So 15 columns of panels we have behind me. So 15 cables run to the bottom of each one. And then we run a straight line up for signal. It's again, it's all ethernet cable. We could easily wire this in a lot of different ways. We can do a snake design where you run to the bottom corner or top corner and zigzag your way all the way down the wall. We can split this up into multiple sections, do two, three, four columns, do it with rows. However we want to split up this wall, we can. We just choose to keep things simple, keep it easy reach in case something ever does happen. So we like to plug everything in at the bottom of the wall. In terms of power, it didn't make sense for us to have 15 power cables, so we split this up into four circuits. Originally, I built everything for two columns were always wired together. So we went from the bottom straight up, 
popped over one and straight down. We linked them all with power cables. Then because we're limited on power in this particular space, we started linking things together, ran some extension cords to some other circuits we have here. And so we have a total of really three circuits running this entire wall. I happened to split it into four just because we have other things on some of them. But this wall can easily be powered off of three circuits, three 20 amp circuits, maybe even two 20 amp circuits. But right now we're running the wall at 100%, which is super bright. Honestly, for video, we usually run it at closer to 10, 15, maybe 40% at the max is what we run a video wall because it's a lot of backlighting and then you need a lot of front lighting so your talent doesn't get completely washed out by the background. So that's a little about this video wall here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are looking for more information on video walls, setups like this, just let me know in the comments what you guys wanna learn about, what you guys wanna see, and we'll see what I can do. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Straight to the top, never going down, don't wait for the drop. And if you need help with consultations or things like that, I'll put all the information in the description on how to get in touch with me. If you guys need help building video walls, specking out jobs, doing 3D renders, doing conferences, concerts, whatever, feel free to reach out to me. It doesn't hurt to at least ask the question. We can always go from there. Okay, now I'm out. Boom.